This video is about TKInter's button widget. So what good is a user interface if it can only display? You need to interact with it and one of the most ambiguous ways of interacting with user interfaces is buttons. So we're going to make a window here with a simple little button here which says click to say hello. If I click on it then hello appears on this label that's below it. So we've got a button and we've got a label that interact. So let's see how you do that. Here's the code and I've done the usual. I've got TK into going. I've created a window with a user geometry and I've got the main loop running as well. So that will produce just a blank window if I run it. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add the content and I'm gonna actually gonna put um, the label in to start with because um, we'll need it for a bit later on. So first off, I'm going to go and put a label in and it's a label put into root and i'm actually going to name this label because this label i need to change what the text is the text is currently nothing so my button is going to reconfigure the label text value to hello so i actually need to be able to refer to this label so i've named it and then i've packed it into the window and now let's do our button so i'm going to create a button which is called the say hello button. Um, actually, strictly speaking, I probably don't have to give it a name, but I'm going to give it a name anyway. So say hello button, and it is of a button type. So I'm calling the button method. We say it appears into root. Um, the text that's going to appear on the button is click to say hello. And now this here is our event handler. So event handler is basically the button's going to be made, it's going to be put into the screen, it's going to sit around and wait until you click it. And that clicking is an event. And it says when this button's clicked, then what you need to do is, the command says, you need to run the um, function called say hello, which I haven't put up yet, but a function called say hello. So let's look at that function. Up here, I'm defining a function called say hello, and that function's sole job is to go to the display label, which we've named down here, and configure the text so it equals, it becomes hello, the string hello. Right here. Now, please note, in here, we don't have the brackets. Don't do, oh, we don't have the brackets in there in calling the actual function because that will call the function when the code is initially written in. What we wanted to do is to wait until um, until the button is clicked, the event happens, and then the reaction will be, okay, now run this function. So that the two brackets at the end are missing from that. We need to pack the say hello um, button into our window. So, and let's save that and run that. And here it here, and I click on it, and we can see the labels quality has, uh, the labels text has changed to that. Let's just check, I'm pretty sure that I can actually not name this button and it should still work as well. So save, run, and there it is. Because I'm not actually changing any qualities of that button, it doesn't actually need to have a name. But unlike the label, which does need to be named because we are reconfiguring the actual um, string that goes on there. Okay, there we go.